Indian selectors have rung in the changes for the fourth test against England at Nagpur. Zaheer Khan, Yuvraj Singh, Harbhajan Singh have been axed from the squad after a string of poor performances. Now the selectors have included young guns Ravi Chandran, uh, Ashwin of course very much in that team. But Ravinder Jadeja coming back into that team. Piyush Chavla also gets a look in as does Delhi Pacer. Parvinder Avana. However, Indian skipper MS Dhoni has been given another chance. Sachin Tendulkar, Virinder Seva, Gautam Gambhir have also retained their places as far as the test matches go, despite being under pressure. No Viru, remember, he is not available for the T20s. Now, spin twins for Agyanoja, Arashwin have been retained as well. Ishan Sharma, Virat Kohli, and Cheteshwar Pujara also hold on to their places in the Indian team. I don't want to comment about the selection. Basically. Nobody is happy when, when you lose. Nobody is happy, but it, after all, it is a sport. So you times you win, your times you lose. Which is we are looking into the reason how we can improve. What are the deficiencies? We are looking into the, the lengthy discussion, and uh, we are working on it. Definitely, no nobody is happy if you lose. Nobody is happy. I don't want to comment about the selection. Basically. Nobody is happy when, when you lose. Nobody is happy, but it, after all, it is a sport. So you times you win, your times you lose. Which is we are looking into the reason how we can improve. What are the differences? We are looking into the, the lengthy discussion, and uh, we are working on it. Definitely, no nobody is happy if you lose. Nobody is happy. Our headlines says Shumon Rena joins us. Also joining us is sports editor Ajtak Vikran Gupta. Shumon, want to come to you first up? Just break down this current situation for us. The team as it stands. Yes, changes brought in a little too late perhaps, but can we expect this to hold on going ahead in the next series, perhaps in the next test match and what's lined up ahead? Well, after a long, long time, the selectors have shown some kind of backbone. The way uh, they, despite BCCI's indication that uh, there won't be wholesome changes, the selectors have actually done that. Uh, three big names dropped and also putting the other uh, senior players into the radar, including the captain. That's a big, big uh, uh, turnaround from the selectors. And this selectors, I, be I believe, that uh, believes in perform or perish. Uh, you cannot just hold on to your past laurels and uh, uh, stay in the team till eternity. So clearly, this, uh, this uh, selection committee and selection uh, team, I, I, I believe, are showing some kind okay. of intent to correct or, or rectify whatever uh, has gone wrong with this team and the team's attitude. So clearly now Dhoni is the captain himself is put, has, has been put under notice that you need to perform, perform well in the third or fourth test match or else probably right. they will look into another change. Probably before the Australia series, they will opt for another captainship. But what really happened inside that meeting? Vikran Gupta has those details and will, you know, bring us up to speed with what happened with the selectors and the Indian captain. Vikran, no one can deny Mahindra Singh Dhoni, yes, has a fantastic record, but you can't live on your laurels in the past. You have to deliver results. This is, you know, sport at the highest level. That's the essence of cricket, uh, Aditya. You, you look at uh, India's history. Uh, Kapil Dev, when he won the World Cup in 83, he was removed as the Indian captain 18 months uh, after the World Cup win. Uh, Saro Gangli, he took India to the finals of the World Cup, was removed as the India captain about two, two years uh, after that. Yes. Uh, the thing is that uh, now uh, in modern day cricket, people are saying that there's a sell by date in terms of leadership. Mm. Yes, uh, you got that shelf life, which could be four years or five years or six years and you run out, uh, run out of ideas. And that's what's happening with Dhoni. Now, I think the conversation between him and the selectors ought to be uh, uh, seen as a conversation between two parties. Okay. Uh, the selectors obviously are the stakeholders of Indian cricket. Mm. Uh, we, we, we can criticize them if they don't select the right team. On the other hand, Dhoni, yes, he's the captain of the Indian team, has been the captain of Indian team, has seen the growth of Indian cricket, but on current form doesn't really warrant a place in the uh, 11. So if he doesn't warrant a place in the 11, yes. uh, his captaincy will also be under threat. Uh, if the Indian team had been winning and Dhoni had not been scoring runs, you would have still said, okay, but if India lose in Nagpur, God forbid, uh, Dhoni uh, would uh, maybe have to go before the Australia series. Uh, maybe he'll be in the 11 still, okay. but his captaincy will not uh, remain with him. But where is the alternative? We'll speak to Vikrant and Shumon about that. Who is you know, likely to take that place if Mahindra Singh Dhoni needs to be axed? Are we looking at split captains? India has done that in the past with Anil Kumar and Mahindra Singh Dhoni as well. Other captains. We'll try and talk about these issues. First of all, let's build on this you know, development. The five wise men of Indian cricket really coming down heavily 
issuing in many ways a show cause, putting these players on notice, saying that the Indian players for their shoddy performance in this grudge series, which has become a joke as far as the Indians are concerned, cannot continue to behave like this. The selection committee, they've put the Indian skipper MS Dhoni, like Vikrant was pointing out, on notice for his failure to lead from the front. The selectors have also warned the Indian players to either perform or perish in this do or die battle now, which is lined up at Nagpur. The only thing that the Indians can do now, remember, is level the ski series, salvage some pride. They cannot win this series now. So, skipper MS Dhoni, he also, remember, faces the heat with his performance coming under intense cannon, not just with his leadership, but also with the bat. The Nagpur test match could well be Dhoni's last as test skipper because the selectors have made it quite clear in no uncertain terms at that that he needs to get his act in order or face the music. Well, in fact, uh, the chairman of selectors, Sandeep Patel, also called the Indian players to a room, gave them a dressing down for their vocal in this place. Patel even warning the players to not take their place in the team for granted. As a leader, you know, uh, I think, you know, this is a challenge that's thrown up to me or towards me. You know, it's always good to lead a side, you know, when they are doing really well, everybody is performing and, you know, leading a side is all about when the team is not doing well, you know, you try to gel the team together, you know, back the youngsters, back the senior guys, you know, try to move in the right direction because the easiest thing for me to do right now is to say, you know, I'll quit captainship and, you know, be part of the side because, you know, that's like running away from a responsibility that's uh, upon you to do, you know, of course, there are others who will decide. Vikram, this is a big test for the selectors as well. They have come together. This is one of their biggest assignments. Their very first as well in many ways. Just take us through what about the alternatives. If Mahindra Singh Dhoni has to be let go, what is India looking at? Uh, again, you'll have to uh, see if you want a stopgap cap, which could be for a year or two years, or you are, are you looking at uh, a future. Maybe Virat Kohli would have been a strong contender, uh, but then he's not scored runs in this tournament, in, yes. in the series. Uh, Sehwag, I think, is going to be the likely candidate. Uh, he scored some runs. He's not been very consistent. Maybe Nagpur, he'll get uh, two more innings. Uh, but if uh, Sehwag uh, uh, does play one or two big uh, innings, I think he'll be the likely candidate. Well, Vinder Sehwag, perhaps, you know, someone who can be looked at. Shuman, the, the other aspect, of course, in this entire situation is Mahindra Singh Dhoni's form, not just as a leader, but with the bat as well. In the past as well, he himself has expressed doubt, saying, you know, there is a certain degree to which this longevity can continue. Perhaps I will have to give up, you know, captaincy uh, in, in one of the formats. He said this himself in the past. You think this lack of confidence also has started, you know, creeping into his game? Well, lack of confidence is one thing that's there uh, with the Indian team in the entire series. And, and the body language has not been positive. Even, even the thinking pattern has been quite negative. Uh, we, we did not see Dhoni attacking enough, not only in this match, but previous matches as well. There has been series of uh, mistakes uh, when, it concern, when it comes to captainship. Also, the fact that the players, did uh, none of the players, except for Sachin in the first innings, hmm. showed some intent of playing like a test in the test match. You yes. do not play uh, the way the Indian players have been. Lose ball, you just chase down and, and get out easily. So, you're throwing away your wickets. It's not that England, England though, played very well, but most of the wickets, the way they have fallen, you will actually see... Indian uh, batsmen get, getting out on loose deliveries. So clearly, uh, it shows that there is lack of intent, lack of purpose, and also the fact that Indian players probably uh, some of them needs a little bit of rest. And uh, yes. and uh, one, uh, if, if these players are given a little bit of uh, maybe a one or two matches, they are dropped. Probably they will come back uh, fresh and uh, maybe perform better. So clearly, Dhoni along with other other senior players have to be given some kind of uh, uh, whatever the mm. selectors have done today. So, uh, it's, it's need of the hour, definitely. Well, you cannot take your place in that team for granted. This is international cricket. This is international sport at the highest level. Lack of intent, always very important as far as Shuman are pointing out there as well. If Ravi Chandra and Ashwin can grind it out there, you expect the most senior batsman to really show some intent as well. Shuman Ray, Vikrant Gupta, appreciate you joining us with your inputs on this story, also bringing us up to speed with the exclusive details, the ongoings in that meeting as well as they played out.